one massive unit, real big, I got out of there. So I know the noise, they're keyed into that noise. Look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely scales, top nick. We've got a fresh wind blowing down here. This is a sexual creature. This is my first 40 out of the water. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? There it comes, coming right over now. Thank you very much. Look at the camera. So we're just getting ready for today's carnage. I'll wait for Elliot to turn up. I'm going to get all the, the main three rods out on the zone. We are filming at Kevin Nash's Church Lake. He's uh, very kindly invited me over for a go. So I've had uh, 11 carp so far to 42, uh, 42 12. Nice scaly one. Elliot popped in for a bit of filming yesterday. I caught it live for the cameras. So, happy days. Just waiting for this to go bungee-fied. Because I've made a new rig boom section here, this is like um, Nash Tackle Trigger Link, and I've uh, coated it in putty. You've got to get it working, because I've, I've, like, it's very porous to take the water on to make it shrink. So I've got to like almost break the, all of that seal along here so I can get water in it. And you've got to bungee-fy it before you cast it out wise. If you cast it out dry, it will shrink in the water and then the hook could be pulled into something. I'm getting better now, it's starting to... That's the water. I'm, I break, broke the coating of the putty, what I've smeared along the hook link, and uh, it's sucking moisture in water. Just got to, it's right once it's done. There it goes, look. If you can imagine, when they pull against the lead, <laughs> it's pulling back on them. But I think we'll talk more about that later. What do you say, Elliot? Get these rods out. I had two mid 20s last night, and I got one over there, I got sorted out. <clears throat> I've just stalked and uh, it's a nice scaly one, a linear. At least mid upper 20. <clears throat> look at look, look look at the elasticity now. So let's say that's the carp here in its mouth and it's picked the bait up. Look, it can't move the lead and as soon as it pulls it, that's pulling back to the lead. So you've got any of them tricky mothers in here. Right, that going around doing you, this is going to trick them up, that's for sure. Clear off all the silk weed and stuff that clings to it all. It's like, look, I've got to clear that up. So it's like a conveyor belt. I do the same thing each time. Just go through basically the same routine. Lay it on my, lay it on my leg, strip it all off. Check the hook in a minute.
Right, I'm now going out. I'm casting my rigs, but I'm baiting up with the boat. So the first thing we do, most important thing is put a life jacket on. Right. I've used the boat for one reason, that's just to bait up. It saves time and I want spread baiting. I don't want like to spawn it, it takes time and it's like pockets of bait. I want it like covered, the whole area. Chops, whole baits, it's just sitting there and then all I've got to do is cast three baits. <laughs> 